Hello, welcome back everybody. This is Muhammad Said with you again. In this video, we will learn how to add images to our web page and we're gonna also learn how to change the height, width, and we can also, uh, we can also change the, bo uh, the border radius. So let's show you what we are gonna be doing today and how is our web page going to change. So, um, this is what we did on the last video. This is what we did on the last video. So we are going to be changing this web page into this web page. And um, there's a huge difference because here there's a lot of images that change the website. So let's go ahead and start learning how to do that. So as you see guys, here's our code. So what we did on the last video is we stopped over here in adding QLs and LIs. So today we are going to learn how to add some images and you can also style them. So first of all you have to get some image like you need an image to save it. So I'm going to teach you how is this going to be because when I first tried this I got a problem and I took a lot of time to solve it, so I'm going to show you what was my problem, and I'm going to help you fix it, if you face the same problem. So first of all, you have to find your image. So let's say I want to add the image of Python. So if you already have the image, I'm going to show you what to do. But first of all, I'm going to show you how to add an image from my website, or from Google. So I'm over here on Google, I searched for Python. You can get any image, like you can get any image and add it, like any image you want. But I already have my image, so what you're going to do is, you're going to take the image that you want, you're going to right click or control S, and um, or you can press on right click save image as and then you are gonna complete saving this image so be careful from this you have to save though you have to save it in the same place that you saved in your website so how's that you see over here that I've created a folder called images in this folder called images um, I'm gonna um, go to website, it's the place where I have my website and folder 2. Here, as you see, here's my VS Code index files. Um, here's everything I used. So, you can save it in images or anything else you called it. So, I'm gonna save it in images. But I already did that and I saved the image. So, here... Now let's open our code. Okay, so as you see over here, the, um, you you were saying I M G. Then if you got like if you got something to help you over here, just press on it or press tab, and you're gonna see the rest of the code. So or you can also um type an image class and call it whatever you want and then make it cool and then type in src which means source equal images or whatever you call this folder over here that has all your images of uh, that you want to add them to your um, python uh, to your html web page over here so what i did is i typed in images then slash logo dot png then um you can just say alt inside of nothing or you can see something this helps the browser or whatever you're using it helps it to find your web page easier so from over here now we added this image like you can add any image you want okay so below this i have um something else called um the html and css and python i added all of those logos and um, i left them with the thing that they were called 
over here so now what do I want to do is I want to learn uh, to learn how to resize them so like when you do that you're gonna find a really big image in your web page and you want to make it smaller so what you have to do is um, select it by saying dot flag or dot Python or that's anything that you saved it with so I saved a lot of them and I called one dot flag dot logo dot HTML dot CSS and dot Python so uh, you're gonna select them and choose everything for all of those you can just do do it for one of them and then copy and paste it so what I did is I typed in width and you can also type in height um, then uh, next to that you can choose pixels or anything else you're gonna have a lot of choices so over here um, you can get from width way I'm gonna show you now I don't know if it's gonna show up or not but okay here as you can see there is um, MMPC um, PT PX which is pixels R E M and a lot more so we're not gonna use any of those because like some of you don't know them so the easiest one is pixels so um, next to pixels you have to choose the pixel so I think I chose uh, wait yeah it's 400 yeah, 200 and then the margin left so you can choose the margin from any side um, so I chose the left margin and um, above that I typed in border slash radius and then I made it 50 pixels which made it kind of curve like this so now I'm going to show you how all of this looks like so let me show you over here okay here how you go but over here like you can't see it very good but like if you look carefully you're gonna see that th it has a background and the background is curved so here it also has a background but the edge uh, the CSS one it doesn't have a background so it's transparent the image was like this itself so you can do that like you have to make it or you have to get transparent so over here um, as you can see so now as you see in the Python in the Python one there uh, there's a curve right I'm gonna make no radius so you can uh, you can see that it's working so let's make it zero pixels so now when I run it over here you see that it's square so let's make it back to 50 pixels Python 50 pixels and you can change everything above that and below that is other lines the other codes that we used and you're gonna find this thing called images but there's something that you are gonna um, get while you're creating this folder don't just create this folder from over here no this is not gonna work you have to go to your files wait no not this you have to go to your files and open your G or where you saved it I'm gonna open my G it's where I saved it now I'm gonna open where is on uh, my website and as you can see here you have to create a new folder and call it images because here is all of our images so these are the images that we used in our and these are the images that we used in our web page so I'm gonna show them to you and some of them I didn't use them because some of them I used them and they didn't really work so when you go to home it's gonna work and some of you are gonna tell me wait I did that and nothing happened it's still it looks like this or something else 
So yeah, this is so easy. Like this is because you went to somewhere else than the place that you did that. So I'm going to show you how. Now when I go to the homes tab, I'm going to see everything I made. And when I go to the locations, they're different. Why is that? This is because those are locations. Those are tabs. They're different. So if you want them to be the same thing, you have to go to the index or the place that you saved the code that you want to be shown in the other places. You can just copy all of it and um, come over here in the place that you want to paste it cut what's here and then paste the uh, i mean don't cut it because it's gonna paste the same thing you can delete it and then paste so this is the video i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel bye see you in the next video